good morning. Today is Tuesday, May 12, 2020. My name is Lilia, and today's options lesson is part two of this series. But before I start today's lesson, please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on my face at the bottom of the screen. It is free to subscribe. And now I present to you our lesson for today. I'm using Thinkorswim and my trade is at the bottom of the screen. This is a credit call spread, which is also known as a bear call spread. As the name suggests, this is a semi bearish trade. The generic name for this strategy is a vertical call spread and it is on Apple. The trade was done on May 7, 2020. Today's May 12, so this was done five days ago. Let's do a quick review of a credit call spread. My short call option has a straight price of 325. My long call option has a straight price of 330. Both of these options expire on June 19, 2020. Today, Apple is trading at around $309.29. It dropped $5.72. Not too bad. We still have 38 days remaining in the trade. So let's take over, uh, take a look at the PL open and see what we have here. The short call option currently has a paper loss of $175.46. My long call option so far has a gain of $128.76. Because this is a vertical call spread, you need to look at this as one package. So if you add this profit to this loss, we have a negative $46.70. So that means so far this position has a paper loss of $46.70. In order for this trade to be 100% successful, Apple needs to stay below 325 between now and the expiration date of June 19. Currently it's at 309, so right now it is still in the correct position. If Apple stays below 325 on the expiration date and if my position is still open this trade will be 100 percent successful and i get to keep 100 percent of my original credit which is almost 100 dollars. that's the difference between my original credit of the short call and the initial debit on the long call. It's almost a dollar difference. So my max profit is the difference between these two premiums. On the other hand, if Apple rises and closes above my long strike of 330 by the expiration date, then this trade will fail. This is a $5 wide spread. So the easiest way to calculate the max loss is to take the difference between the two strike prices and subtract out the original credit. In part one of this series, I provided a much more detailed analysis of this trade. So if you're new to credit call spreads, I do recommend that you go back and review part one. So let's do a more thorough analysis of the potential max loss if everything goes wrong. $5 widespread minus the original credit of $0.98 cents equals $4.02. So if Apple closes above 330 on the expiration date and my options are still open, I will have a max loss of $402. So the nice thing about a credit call spread is that my losses are limited. So no matter how high Apple goes, 
My losses are limited to $402. A credit call spread is a semi-bearish trade. That means I want the stock to go down or at the very least to stay below my short strike of 325. I've had this trade open now for about five days and I currently have a paper loss of $46. So the question is, what should I do about this trade? Should I leave it open or should I close it and lock in this loss? By doing a more thorough analysis of the probabilities, we'll be able to make a better decision about what to do. So remember, if Apple closes above 330 at expiration, this trade is going to fail and I'm going to lose $400. So we need to find out the probability that my long call option is going to be in the money at expiration. And according to Thinkorswim, currently there's about a 21% chance that Apple can close above 330 in the next 38 days. So that means there's about an 80% chance that it's not going to go up there. In order for this trade to be 100% successful, Apple needs to be below 325, which is my short call option. So we want my short call to remain out of the money. According to the statistics, currently there's about a 26-27% chance that my short call option may end up in the money by expiration. So 100 minus 26 is 74. So there is still a 74% chance that this trade may be 100% successful, which is a good probability. So for that reason, I'm going to leave the trade open and keep an eye on it. Because the maximum loss is $400, my goal is to close out this trade when I have a nice profit. The original credit is $98. So in this trade, I am risking $400 to make $98. So my goal is to close this out when my profit is 50% of my max profit. Max profit is 98. So half of that is 49. So as soon as I have a profit of $49, I am going to consider closing out this trade by buying back the entire vertical. Stay tuned for part three of this series. Thank you for watching and many thanks to my Patreon members for making this video possible.